Hi guys, Kirk here with Kirk Giordano Plastering. Jason and I are going to show you something about weep screeds. I had a fellow by the name of Michael Guilford. He's in the Stockton, Sacramento area. He says, hey Kirk, how come you never show drip weep screeds on brick, block, stone? Well, I'll tell you why, because, excuse me, that's not something we do. First of all, I'll give you an example. This is a color coat maintenance free finish and it when you wet a color coat maintenance free finish it darkens just like the brick will and what does that mean when your house darkens like that that means the finish here is 55 years old they started doing color coats around 1926 at least La Habra did and Western Omega all these other ones uh, came afterwards but this finish is at least 55 years old and when it darkens like this like the bricks that means it's maintenance free so how does this have a drip or a weep uh, screed? I told that fellow, I said, well, how about this? Uh, there's a building close to me I'll show you because the picture is worth a thousand words. Okay, here's how they did this wall. In back of the brick here, there is a 30 pound felt or two, two layers of paper. However they did this, it has a felt. And that same felt has wire on top of it. Now the wire on top of it goes all the way up. It should have stopped well, they, they should have stopped right here. And what they do is they put an L flashing. The L flashing counters this brick and it goes up underneath the paper of the stucco. So when this wall gets wet like this, water goes through the stucco. It comes down. It hits that L flashing. And then the, this uh, piece of wood here is a decorative piece. It's basically covering the metal that's under here. We call it a belly band, but it basically has a purpose to cover that, that L channel. So the L metal comes here and it comes out here. So the water goes through this, goes in back of this belly band, and then drips harmlessly on the cap of this brick. Now, if this were rock or stone, it would do the same thing. It would hit the rock or the stone, lay on the top, and just drip harmlessly down the face here. That's why we don't put a drip or a weep screed in brick, although there's always exceptions to the rule in some areas of this country where it's wet and um, just range year round almost. They put a rain shield behind that, but we won't get into that. But that is why we don't have a drip screed on brick, rock, slate, uh, stones of any of that kind. So Michael, I hope that answers your question. I appreciate you asking me. As usual guys, we'll see you on the next one.